What's going on, everyone? Happy Friday. Hopefully, everyone is doing well, staying safe, healthy, having a great day so far, and testing negative for all those viruses that can make us sick. It is time now for the Friday edition of the Virus Update for Friday, November 21st, 2025. If you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. This is where I do the daily virus update on all those viruses that can make us sick. Let's face it, there's a lot of viruses out there. COVID, flu, norovirus, RSV, all on the rise right now. Uh, and of course, COVID can go on to become long COVID. I myself deal with long COVID. More on that in a moment. So if you want to stay informed with all this, just subscribe down below. Help me reach my goal of 10,000 subscribers this year. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. And leave your comments down below. We do have multiple news stories and bits of data to take a look at today, which does include brand new CDC data and a few other things. Before we get to that, got to give you a long COVID update for me. If you've been following these videos for the past few weeks, you know my headaches have been back again. They kind of like took the summer off and now they're back again. Uh, today I had to get a blood test, did that. Uh, afterwards I ate something, it just doesn't matter today. I even took my Excedrin. Uh, today is just really, it has not been a good day for the headache whatsoever. This is probably one of the more severe ones that I've had, so bear with me. Let's uh, get right into this, shall we? Dennis, the COVID info guy uh, for South Australia Weekly Respiratory uh, Report for November 15th through to the 21st. Reported cases, and bad news here, things are still going up in parts of Australia. COVID, uh, 161 cases, but like, that's up by 24.8%. Flu, 727 cases. That is up by a whopping 42.8%. You don't expect to see that over there in spring. It's not normal. It's some bad news. RSV, 93 cases. That's actually down. The, there's the good news. That's down by 19.8%. Pertussis, 79 uh, cases. That's down by 15.9%. Reported deaths in 2025. COVID, 78. That's up by 10. Flu, 61. RSV, 12. Pertussis at this time, five cases for that there. Again, seeing flu go up in these areas at this time of year, eh, not good. Uh, Western Australia, COVID positivity rate, 2.1%. That's down by 0.1%. PCR cases, 97. That's down by 9.3%. Hospitalization average of 17 cases per day. That's stable. ICU average, hey, zero. That's good. Uh, here we go. Yeah. Australia's summer is almost here. This is also Dennis COVID info guy. But flu is on the rise. Yeah, I'm telling you, it's not normal. Flu cases have hit a six-week high with infections almost triple what they were at this time in 2022 in Australia. Not good. 2025, so far this year. And this is a big number. 31,490 cases so far this year. 2024's total, their total for the year, 22,096 cases. Uh, 2023, 20,301 cases. Uh, 2022, 11,693 cases. This is South Australia, I should say. I'm saying Australia. This is the South Australia region. So South Australia really having a problem when it comes to flu at this time. And as we saw, let's go back for a second. Uh, COVID as well is once again going up in that area. Alrighty, do we have any fans of the movie Wicked? I'm sure that we may have a couple here because it's fairly popular. Apparently there's another movie of it coming out. I didn't see the first one. Just letting that be known. Ariana Grande has tested positive for COVID. And this would not be her first case. I believe this is her second case. I don't know. Were there more? Uh, I believe at some point before she had COVID. Well, she has COVID again. There were all these uh, premieres and all this business going on. She's making her tours with the late night shows. Well, not, that's come to a grinding halt. She is dealing with COVID. So yet again, another actor dealing with COVID. Interesting that we are starting to see some uh, more celebrities start to be a little bit more open about COVID as of late. Yeah, uh, I, I find this very interesting. Of course, as you know, Tom Hanks was very open as to why he wears a mask lately. He's saying, look, I've had enough of the COVID. I'm doing a show, a play or something. He's like, look, I just, no, no COVID right now. Health-related purposes. I mean, they're being open about this. COVID is still out there. It's never gone away. Uh, will it ever go away? 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, taking a look at this, all right, time for more of those first of the seasons. Yeah, that would be a flu. Elderly man marks first Connecticut flu death of the season. I believe this was a person near the Hartford area in Connecticut. I'm not seeing that in this article. I think another article said it was, yeah, Hartford County. There it is. So I am seeing that in this article. A man in his 80s died of flu. And now going out to California, Riverside County reports first flu-related death of the season. So, yeah, we are starting to see more flu deaths pop up, and this is looking to be a whopper of a flu. This is looking to be a really bad flu season. We have this new clade of flu that's out there, plus we have the immune system damage done by COVID. It's a lot of different reasons. All right, let's go to Missouri. Uh, Lamar School District has confirmed a case of whooping cough in a student. Yikes, not good. Not the first time we've seen this this year in the United States. Uh, of course, this makes it over to the illness thread. Probably will not be doing any updating of uh, those tracking threads this afternoon. If I do, it means my headache would be slightly better. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, there you go. And take a look at this. We're looking at our website now, datareport.info, Ariana Grande. Um, hope I said that correct. Uh, forgive me. Uh, is um, dealing... With COVID and Steve has posted that to the archive. Thank you so much for doing that. That is one thing I don't get around to doing much of is working on that archive. Uh, here's some good news. How about this? Surprise! Canada. COVID-19 is now listed at low. Flu A is moderate. Flu B is low. And RSV is low. They had a Canadian Thanksgiving uh, uh, several weeks ago now. And uh, that probably was what pushed things higher. Now they're past that little hiccup. And look at this. Things are a bit... Better, but we'll see how long it lasts. Again, the colder weather, it is coming. All right, in case you did not see yesterday's update from the UK, here's where they stand with COVID. Cases were down, 874. That's down by 511. Deaths, 142. And unfortunately, that was up by 18. And a reminder here, we do not follow the UK for COVID waves anymore. I mean, we just... Don't. We may for flu. I think we do for flu because flu is starting to go up here and we would like them several weeks. In the early days, we followed them for COVID to a T. Whatever would happen there, that would be here a few weeks later. Then we've been going off and doing our own things. Like, for example, when our summer wave peaked, the UK was still going up and they went up for several more weeks. So it was almost as if things switched into the reverse and they followed us. Alrighty, moving on now. Uh, actually, no, we do want to take a look at those flu numbers from the UK. Can we? I don't have a queued up here. Okay, anywho, moving on. Uh, let's take a look at what is going on with uh, measles in the United States. 1,753 confirmed measles cases were reported this week. And in case you're wondering, the flu levels in the UK, yeah, they're still pretty bad. It indicates things are going to get bad here uh, soon in the United States. There's actually more things that indicate that, which I'll show you in a moment. Let's take a look at the air qualities in the United States. Before we do that, Let's take a hydration break, shall we? Water is the drink of choice today. And you may have noticed when I was taking that drink of water, something else that I do believe is long COVID-related. Sudden uh, movements, that which I had before. COVID, very rare that it would happen. It, it, they're just so much worse. Now, you know, it's another issue I have to have worked out. In fact, we just spilled water all over ourselves. I can't help it. There's uh, it's long COVID. It, it's, it's, it's a horrible disease. Uh, taking a look at the West Coast here, uh, we can see here that things are bad for air qualities in the Pacific Northwest. A little bit better in California. So I'm now, I'm going to zoom in. Some people are saying things are not as bad they are when I show this map. Uh, there's Sacramento is yellow. San Francisco, not bad today. Uh, and you come down to the South Bakersfield, yeah, a few problems there. But I do have to show you the east as well. In fact, let's refresh this again so it comes up quicker. Uh, the Great Lakes region and portions of the mid Atlantic. there we go. Yeah, just southeast of the Great Lakes. Yeah, we're seeing some bad air qualities here. And we do have a lot of low-level moisture, low-level clouds. Um, hopefully that will clear out with some rain that is coming tonight into parts of this region. Let's take a look at what's going on in Pinellas County, Florida. And we can see in Pinellas County, Florida, we do see several uh, different uh, things here. We do see sick person showing up several times there. That's not good. In Maryland, I need to refresh this. And let's see what's going on there. Well, I do see a couple fours. I do see some ones as well. And more than a couple fours. So there are some problems going on 
there. Take a look at what's going on in Philadelphia. And on Thursday, there were 754 EMS incidents reported. Live looking at what's going on just outside of Philadelphia. Uh, we do see, this is Montgomery County, we do see dizziness. Cardiac arrest is showing up in Lower Marion Township. Just a whole bunch of different things going on here. Yikes, that's not uh, good. Taking a look at what's going on in Chester County, PA. Just only a couple calls here. That's good to report. Taking a look at what's going on in Bucks County, and this needs to be refreshed. That's from yesterday. Here's today. And we do see respiratory distress and a whole bunch of other problems going on. I mean, yeah, it's that time of year where things start getting busy once again. Here's a look at what Pennsylvania did for wastewater this week. Uh, COVID and wastewater was down ever so slightly this week compared to the previous week. Taking a look at the hospital situation in New Jersey. Actually, no. Let's look at Pennsylvania first. I don't think a lot of these hospitals are opening. Eh, just a couple of hospitals in Southeast PA dealing with problems. In New Jersey, we do see Cooper University Hospital yet again has a problem. This time it's a specialty issue. Specialty issue at Inspire Medical Center Mannington. Specialty at Mulhenberg JFK. And that's it for New Jersey. We don't see the words patient volume, total diverts showing up today. That is some good news. Taking a look at what is going on in New York State on this Friday. And we do see, uh-oh, it looks to be a little bit of an increase for COVID cases. 374. I've been wondering when that was going to start to show up, and it looks like it has. The good news is hospitalizations in New York State. Hospital admissions are still dropping at this time. Hospital admissions, 287 at this time. All right, let's take a look at some of the new CDC data, and that's where I'm going to leave you off for today. Uh, we're not going to take a look at wastewater scam. We'll get that in on Sunday when we do Wastewater Sunday, also known as Dashboard Sunday. Now we show a lot of dashboards on Sunday. Heads up, tomorrow is going to likely, I think, be the Out in the Wild update. All right, take a look at this. COVID-19 epidemic status. It is growing in the following states. Pennsylvania, West Virginia, Indiana, uh, Michigan. It is also growing in Nebraska, Colorado, New Mexico, and Mississippi. And then it is likely growing in Louisiana, Texas, Kansas, South Dakota, Iowa, Missouri, Kentucky, South Carolina now included, Vermont, and Massachusetts. Hey, look at Florida. You're not changing yet. And look at the West Coast. We still have some dropping there. Maine is still declining at this time, as is California, likely declining in Hawaii and in Washington. However, we can see more. That's right. We can see more. They've actually added to this. I'm surprising. Now, influenza we had last year, but RSV, that's new. Here's influenza. Do I need to say much about this? It is in growing status in the majority of the country. It is likely growing in Maine, likely growing in Kansas, likely growing in California. Not uh, estimated in several of the Plains states and uh, not changing in Oklahoma. Yeah, flu is exploding at this point. In fact, let's read this. As of November 18, 2025, we estimate that influenza infections are growing or likely growing in 42 states, declining or likely declining in zero states, and not changing in two states. Where's the other state where it's not changing? Would that maybe be Wyoming? I'm just seeing Oklahoma. Ah, it's Vermont. Okay. Hmm. Not changing in Vermont? I find that hard to believe because I actually know of people sick in Vermont, but then again, that's a different virus. All right, taking a look at this. Epidemic uh, trend status for RSV. This is uh, something new this year. I don't remember RSV being on here last year. What was it? I'd have to go back and look at my videos from last winter. As of November 18, 2025, we estimate that RSV infections are likely, are growing or likely growing in 35 states, declining or likely declining, declining in zero states, and not changing in one state. And you can see here, the only places that are in likely growing status would be Oklahoma and Wisconsin. The vast majority of states are in growing, including Florida, Pennsylvania, California, Oklahoma, Washington, on and on I could go. You get the idea here. The viruses are really starting to take off. And this is pre-Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving's going to be a disaster, isn't it? With all these viruses taking off. Uh, taking a look at the influenza, like Ill illness map, flu view. And we do see that... New this week, we do have moderate levels now. Actually, we're almost in the high tier for Louisiana. And now we see Puerto Rico is at moderate. And almost at moderate now. It's still low. Almost at moderate in Mississippi. That's a state we don't get much data from. Also in the low 
category now would be uh, Colorado. And we saw the co not the COVID, the influenza positivity right there is really starting to go up. We can actually show you that real quickly. Yeah, 7.59% on the most recent update there. Yeah, that's not good. And H3N2 is the predominant circulating virus. Oh, that's not good. That's that new one that we're talking about. And hopefully it's not that specialized clade with it. And yeah, that's not good. All right, here's a surprise for you. We have a COVID variant update. Haven't had this in a while. Got this with the data update. XFG is 69% of the cases for COVID. XFG 0.14.1. Yeah, one of them wild ones. You know, one of them random. Not much difference to XFG from my understanding, but uh, it's 10% of the cases. XFZ is 6%. XFG 0.1 is 5%. XFG 0.6 is 3%. Alrighty, drum roll please. We want to see if we have an update to the wastewater levels. I'm pretty sure we were supposed to get this update today. And mind you, some of this data... Okay, yes, we did get the update. You can clearly see here, we had our law for COVID. It dropped. Then we went up a little bit. And the Midwest is still going up. A little drop in the West. National level is level this week. And the Northeast, that dropped just slightly this week. So there, we do have an update for wastewater when it comes to covid and while we're on this page, we might as well take a look at influenza. Is that rising yet? And we can see, let's see here, I believe one region may be rising. It's not the west. It's the northeast. The northeast is starting to rise when it comes to influenza in wastewater. And we can also take a look at RSV. Still looks that very low at this time. And yeah, RSV is still fine. And I should also tell you, the national category for influenza is very low. And the national category for COVID-19 is very low. There you have it. Let's go back and look at something real quickly. Again, epidemic status, RSV, growing in the majority of the states. Influenza, growing in the majority of the states with this new uh, H3N2 subclade. And then COVID-19 starting to grow in many states. What's the conclusion? Thanksgiving is going to be a disaster for the viruses. I might even put that in the title for today's video. Alrighty folks, see you tomorrow for the Out in the Wild update where we will have an update to the coffee meter. Hint, it's going up. It's going up. I don't know if I'm going out this evening or not. I may or may not. And if I do and I hear even more coffee, it may go even higher than what I was going to set it for tomorrow. And ambulance meter, that'll be tomorrow. I think that's going up as well. I've seen more ambulances. Uh, if you enjoyed today's video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below. Hit that notification bell. Share this video with anyone you know. Leave your comments down below and ways to support the channel are listed down below. I will see everyone again next time. Until I see you again next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a fantastic, uh, what day is it? Say Friday. And I will see everyone again next time. And if you're suffering with long COVID, I really feel for you. It's, it's not fun. It's not fun whatsoever. All right. Take care. Have a great evening. Thanks for watching.